The first transformation that happened for me was in high school, and I was kind of casting around trying to find my way. I felt like the, the things that I was learning in school didn't really apply to me. Um, I had a terrible attitude about everything that I was studying, and it just felt like it wasn't about me. And my 11th grade year, I had an American literature teacher named Miss Beasley, and for the, for the first time, it, it must have been partly her teaching style, but it was mostly the literature that we were reading in there. Um, we were reading Thoreau and Emerson, and for the first time when I read those essays, um, it felt like someone was writing about me. It felt like it was about my life that I was experiencing in, in that year, even though they'd written it, you know, a hundred years before or whatever. And when they wrote about, you know, trying to get away from the rat race and, and trying to simplify your life, um, it, it spoke to me on a personal level in a way that none of my education had prior to that moment. And so that, that was the first transformation for me, I think both in a, in a literature way and also in an educational way, because it felt like finally I'd found something that I could relate to. I think the reason that it transformed me was because I... I felt like it was guiding me in a way that I, I had kind of needed some guidance and, and maybe I hadn't even realized that I was missing it. It, it, it. it helped to shape the way that I saw the world around me. It helped me feel like I um, had the power to make changes in my life. And you know, what What 16 year old um, can't benefit from some serious life lessons? So I, I was just at a point in my life where I really needed something that I could grab onto and get that would give meaning to my life and it, it really came at the right time. The the other thing that happened to me and this was af right after I graduated from high school I was reading some English poetry at the time just kind of on my own and I had a chance to go on a trip with my dad to Wales and we went to um, Tintern Abbey which is uh, ruined abbey in Wales, and I'd been reading William Wordsworth, and there was a poem that he wrote about um, going into the hills above Tintern Abbey as a kind of a way of escaping, you know, the, the human experience when he needed to. And it, it kind of spoke to me in, you know, on, as far as literature was concerned, it, it, um, it spoke to me as, as a poem, but it also kind of connected me with nature and and those three things me and nature and and literature kind of all converged and i had this really powerful experience of of learning that um, that literature could help me escape from things in my life and also that nature could be an escape for me when when my life got to be too much that i had these two um, very therapeutic avenues that i could follow so that was also a very transformative experience for me so as a teacher, one of the ways that I've been able to apply the transformative experiences that I had in my own life um, is just trying to help my own students find a personal connection with the literature that we read in class. I find that a lot of students come to me saying that they hate reading, um, and I always tell them it's because they haven't found the right book yet. And in my experience, it's just a matter of matching a student with a book that speaks to them on a personal level. And I have every year I have students um, at the end of the year who are asking me where they can find, you know, the next book in the series or um, parents contacting me to tell me that, you know, they're, for the first time in their child's life, they're coming home and asking them if they can go to the library. And for me, it's all about um, just finding the right literature and, f and finding something that speaks to you on a personal level, that it, it feels like the author is talking about my life, because I think for a lot of our students, they feel a sense of um, dis there's a disconnect between them and what happens in school and I believe it's really important to make that connection.